Hi there, welcome to Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and uh, today this is part two of making a Halloween poster. Joshua did this Halloween Nightmare Manor backyard haunting thing and uh, last year he asked me if I'd uh, do a poster for it this year and we're back in touch and that's what I'm doing and I'm showing you how I'm going about making this poster but uh, let's not talk about it, let's do it. Well, in the previous video, I showed you how to do this haunted house graveyard scene. This will be in the background, and now I'm going to draw the pumpkin and the pumpkin leaf kind of border around the edge. Okay, I'm starting off drawing the pumpkin, and if you want to, to know how to do that, go and see my video on Draw Stuff Real Easy channel. Uh, here's a link for you. And um, what I'm doing is, is, is drawing this kind of border made out of the pumpkin and the pumpkin leaves uh, and then I'm going to scan it and place it on top of the previous drawing as, as a kind of a border around the whole thing and so now I've got to draw all these leaves which are a bit complicated uh, I kind of worked out a, a pattern for them and then you've got all the squiggly squirrely bits on on the edges as well I've done uh, I've done a bit of practice with this um, thinking about the the coloring so I'm, I'm I'm going to be coloring it in on Photoshop uh, so I want to try and make these lines join up so there aren't any little breaks that the ink can spill out when I drop the ink in and um, and I'm not doing the veins in ink because they just don't look right I'll be doing the the veins in a paler color in Photoshop later and I'm only going to do one side here as well because I can copy it and paste it and flip it over onto the other side to get sort of double it up. Um, so we'll see what happens in Photoshop. So we've got various phases to work on here and I'm going to copy and paste and flip that whole design and then cut bits of it out and, and, and just reshape it on the right hand side and, uh, and then put the two together uh, taking away the second pumpkin which is on top of the first pumpkin so that we end up with uh, a kind of a border that goes right the way around the edge and then we get into that whole messy business of uh, trying to drop ink into areas where sometimes it gets a bit messy because the there's a little hole in the uh, in, in the black outline that it all pours out and uh, but uh, we get there in the end putting a layer underneath means I can just do the final bits uh, with a paintbrush and now I need to fill all the, the veins in on the leaves and that's much better done with a pale colour uh, than, than a black line which just obliterates the whole drawing somehow and you just need a bit of patience going around and, and also sort of doing slightly curling lines rather than straight lines which uh, curling lines are always best when you're <laughs> doing natural things like leaves and plants and that kind of stuff. And then we can get to work on the pumpkin, uh, which I'm I'm filling in with a kind of a, a radial uh, graduated colour thing from kind of a yellow. Well, I was trying a few different versions, but uh, from kind of yellowy, a yellowy orange to a darker orange, and and that makes it look quite effective. And now I'm getting the drawing of the graveyard and the house. Um, and I'm dropping that into the background, placing it in position. And then I'm going to fill the bottom area with that green colour and then uh, fill in another kind of radial, sort of nighttime spooky looking background colour in the background. And now to add the text, and I thought of doing all sorts of things, but in the end I thought white text would probably stand out best uh, against a coloured background like this. So I've done it fairly simply. I'm using impact on the bottom uh, so it's because there's quite a lot of information to fit in and that's quite a compressed typeface and I'm using infant dreamland on the top as the kind of um, headline typeface and putting um, a lot of shadow on it um, a shadow on the text which is so so it looks like the, there's a, a torch shining up from underneath um, to give it that kind of scary ish look but keeping it simple and readable and that's kind of it 
And here we have the final poster. I hope Joshua likes it. I've added a little bit on the edges and just kind of uh, given a bit more room uh, to play with. And uh, that's about it. So if you're going to be in Burlington, you might want to go along to Joshua's Backyard Nightmare. <laughs> and if you do, have fun and don't be scared. <laughs> Well, if you enjoyed that, I'd like you to go over to www.shoerainer.com and sign up for my newsletter, where you'll be kept informed of all the different things I'm doing, all my different projects. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs>